today, today Apple is going to reinvent the phone. And we are calling it iPhone. The device known as the iPhone has come a very long way in the last 10 years. Born in a time where some phones were smart but too smart for regular consumers to use and enjoy. Too complex, so many strange concepts and mixed ideas. Apple's iPhone really changed the way the world viewed smartphones. It can be argued that smartphones became boring after the iPhone, but it's what made smartphones mainstream in our world. Taking a look back at the first iPhone from 2007 after 10 years, it's amazing to see what changes have really occurred in this phone lineup. The design still remains iconic and resembles many of the iPhones following it, except for many of the changes that occurred in recent years, such as the headphone jack removal and many other details. But still today, the phone feels solid and premium. The screen is insanely small by today's standards at 3.5 inches and doesn't look so great either, but for the time it was quite large and pretty good looking. It was not the first touchscreen phone ever to hit the market, but it was one of the best and most reliable ones available at the time. Now with very outdated specifications today, the phone seems like it'd be very slow and super laggy, but for a few things it's actually fast enough. Opening and using stock apps is actually fairly fast and somewhat usable, and the only place it really feels laggy and slow is when using the web browser, especially with today's very heavy websites. I just say stock apps because apps can't really be downloaded for this iPhone from the App Store because of compatibility restrictions from Apple, limiting developers to make apps for older phones like this one. Not just that, but many of the applications available today are way too labor intensive for the original iPhone, so they probably couldn't even run anyways. Now looking back at the software, after many years of the iOS 7 style redesign, is definitely quite interesting. Seeing apps that resemble the real-life versions of things is so bizarre to see today, especially in a world where everything is super minimal and clean. And believe it or not, many people actually prefer the original, skeuomorphic design of iOS software instead of today's very clean, minimal design. They've even held off upgrading their phones that are compatible. Now, today, the iPhone's camera is one of its most well-known features, and the reason people consider buying iPhones over other phones for that very consistent camera experience. These are all photos I've shot on my iPhone 7 Plus over the last few months. It's been my main camera for pretty much everything except for YouTube videos, but for many people their iPhone is their only camera. But looking back at the first iPhone's 2 megapixel camera and reviews of it, at the time it received glowing reviews except for the lack of video recording. Some good shots are possible except for when you zoom in, they start to look pretty bad then. So I've looked back at the first iPhone multiple times over the last few years because I just find technology evolution to be so amazing. I remember hearing the announcement back in 2007 that the company who makes my computer also now makes a smartphone? Whatever that was. I didn't even know what a smartphone was back then. I also found out how much it costs, which was $500 on contract, which I definitely could not afford at the time. 10 years from today in 2027, will the iPhone still exist? What will it look like then? Who knows, but the evolution should be amazing, especially looking back at what we consider to be amazing today. And with that, happy birthday iPhone, and thank you for watching.